Self-learning is a powerful tool that can help us achieve our goals, both personal and professional. It involves taking control of our own education and seeking out new knowledge and skills on our own terms. At its core, self-learning is about curiosity and a desire to grow and improve. By embracing this mindset, we can unlock our full potential and achieve things we never thought possible. Self-learning is an essential skill for success in today's fast-paced world. By taking control of your own learning, you can acquire new knowledge and skills at your own pace, without being limited by traditional educational institutions or outdated teaching methods. Furthermore, self-learning allows you to tailor your education to your specific needs and interests, enabling you to pursue your passions and develop expertise in areas that are important to you. Whether you're looking to advance your career, start a new business, or simply learn for the sake of learning, self-learning is the key to unlocking your full potential. Learning is a complex process that involves acquiring new knowledge, skills, and attitudes. It starts with the recognition of a need or desire to learn something new. This can be triggered by a variety of factors such as curiosity, necessity, or personal growth. Once the motivation is established, the learner must engage in the process of acquiring new information through various means such as reading, listening, observing, or practicing. The next step is to consolidate the new information into memory by encoding it in a meaningful way. This can be achieved through repetition, elaboration, or association with existing knowledge. Once the information is stored in memory, the learner must retrieve it when needed to apply it in relevant contexts. This requires the ability to recognize the appropriate cues and activate the relevant knowledge structures. Finally, the learner must evaluate the effectiveness of the learning process and make adjustments as necessary to improve future performance. One effective learning strategy is to break down complex concepts into smaller, more manageable pieces. This allows you to focus on one aspect at a time and build your understanding gradually. Another strategy is to actively engage with the material by asking questions, making connections to prior knowledge, and applying what you've learned to real-world scenarios. This helps to solidify your understanding and make the information more meaningful. Self-learning can be a challenging journey, and it's important to recognize the obstacles that may arise. One common obstacle is the fear of failure, which can prevent us from even attempting to learn something new. It's important to remember that failure is a natural part of the learning process and should be embraced as an opportunity for growth. Another obstacle is time management. With busy schedules and numerous responsibilities, finding time to dedicate to self-learning can be difficult. However, setting aside even just a few minutes each day can make a significant difference in our progress. It's also helpful to prioritize our learning goals and break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Now that you have a better understanding of the science behind self-learning and effective strategies for learning, it's time to put it into practice. The key to successful self-learning is to make it a habit. Start by setting aside dedicated time each day or week to focus on your learning goals. Use the strategies we've discussed to stay motivated and engaged in your learning process. Remember, learning is a lifelong journey, so be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. Another important aspect of putting self-learning into practice is to seek out opportunities for real-world application. Whether it's through volunteering, taking on new projects at work, or simply applying what you've learned in your daily life, finding ways to use your newfound knowledge will help solidify your understanding and keep you motivated to continue learning. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.